Yo, this is Itano Plays Pokemon White. We are at the Celestial Tower, which is north of Mr. Little City. We had to go here before we can even get a gym battle because Skula has to help a Pokemon out. So, we're now going to go up there and find Skula and tell her, well, let's help you get this Pokemon healed up and then let's go have a gym battle. This place is flowing with psychic type trainers. I still want to fight. Wandering spirits, command me! Okay, we can have a fight. Is up against Psychic Lin. Her Pokemon will be Litwick. Really, a Psychic type Pokemon is actually a Ghost and Fire type Pokemon, but that's fine, we can take it on. So I'll be using the Razor Shell. Remember, Litwick is a pure out offensive Pokemon, it's not very fast and it has very low defense and special defense. Then again, if it hits you with a fire attack, you will take a lot of damage, even if you are resistant to fire. Or, yeah. Next up is Swoobat, that's a psychic flying type. Let's see, I will go with Zepstrika for this one. Zepstrika is good to have in the next gym because of flying types. Zepstrika will get some more love from you. Zepstrika versus Swoobat. Go to Spark. It up and laying it down. Whoa, almost a one hit KO, and it's paralyzed as well. Swoop, I can't even move. This is excellent good news for us. I'll take it with a shockwave to finish it off. Releasing electric energy, and Swoobat will go down. Good job, Sep Striker. You're starting to become useful again. And that's Psychic Lin. Let me breathe a sec. The spirits have calmed out a bit. Mm -hmm. I bet the spirits told you that you're not gonna beat me anyway, so that's fine. From one psychic to another. What please sleeping spirits is a hot Pokemon battle. Okay. So a hot Pokemon battle then. Testing off against the male psychic, Mickey. And he has a Yamask. Yamask we already have seen once before in the Relic Castle. Yamask is a pure Ghost-type Pokémon, so physical fighting and normal-type moves will not even do any damage to it. But Razor Shell will. It's a one-hit KO because of crit, but now our ability was taken away. That's unfortunate, but that's one of the ability of, of Yamask. Next up is Golet. I yeah, will just stick to do what? Golet is a special Pokemon. It's not a heavy Pokemon, but it's a dual type Ghost and Ground. So it's immune to normal attacks, it's immune to fighting attacks, it's immune to electric attacks. That's a lot of immunity. But when you are a uh, Ground and Ghost, you're still susceptible to water. So I will raise the shell. It's a one hit KO onto Golet. A lot of immune test doesn't really help you. And we have beaten Psychic Mickey. It's a spark of your flaming spirit. I guess you can say that. This item we get a spell tag. Very nice item. And we get a trainer to fight as well. I will guess what you are. You are a Pokemon trainer. One million dollars to you. Congratulations for winning the lottery. Missing off Psychic Bell. She has only one Pokemon, which is Mushana. Muna's evolution will form a pure Psychic type Pokemon. So, do what? We will take it on. Let's use the Razor Shell. We can use also the other one we have, but. Nah, I don't really want to. Mushana's defense goes down, which is good for us. And at the same time, its defense goes up again, so basically it's, it just wastes a turn doing nothing. Its defense value is back to normal, even after Razor Shell effect, so we will do the same damage again. Psybeam from Mushana. Does not that bad damage, let's go with Water Pulse instead. Should do less damage, but let's see. Yeah, it does a bit less. Defense curl onto Mushana, which means defense double now go up. I don't even think Razor Shell can take it out, so I'll do another water pulse. There we go. 
It's enough, and Mushana goes down. A lot of XP for Duot and Vanillite, and we beat Psychic Bell. What was that? I guess that you were, though. Yes, but you don't win any money, though, because you threw yourself up. Oh, Nurse. Hey, Nurse. You have a poke. Okay, never mind. Litwick. Litwick says that you're not gonna talk to this nurse, you have to go to me. Fight me, fight me, fight, fight, fight. No, don't want to. You need a nurse help? Sure, if you can win against me, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. Oh, that's, that's very nice. So you're gonna face off against Nurse Sachiko. Nurse Chachika with Gothitha. Saki type Pokemon. So I'll use it to what? And I'll stick with Razor Shell. Only one more PP with Razor Shell, that's fine. Because the Nurse will help us. Defense goes down to Gothitha. Future Sight move is being enabled. This means I'll be taking damage in the next few turns if I don't switch it out or something. Whoa! Sachicho so uses Hyper Potion! That's lame. Well, we will give it a water pulse. Just a bit less than half. A bit more than half, actually. And But now Gothitha's confused. Let's see what this helps for Gothitha. Oh, it's gonna full heal as well. This means confusion is cured. But another water pulse will strike Gothitha. And that's gonna be a KO. So not much for that full heal, but that will their choice. Next up will be... Oh, first we get a future side on me. Oh, damn. Alamomola. That's a water type Pokemon. So I'll be setting in... Zeb Striker. So Alamomola is our next Pokemon to fight. Which is a water type Pokemon. A big one as well. But let's just go with the Spark onto Momola. has a lot of health. But it's paralyzed. No well, wake up slap. Doesn't do much damage. We'll move on. Well protect from Momola. Yeah it is paralyzed but protect has first strike opportunity. So let's do it again. Let us bark. Ooh almost. A bit more and then Momola should go down. Mamula has a lot of health, like, it has almost more health at level 50 than it has all the Pokemon have at level 100. The rest of is not that great though, but that's what we take effect on now, and Mamula goes down. Level 29, Seb Striker. Pretty good. Well, like has some XP as well, we beat Nurse Sachiko. Come on, your team is really healthy! What you offered me is some help services, so please heal my Pokemon. Okay then, time to give your Pokemon some energy! Ah, much better. It's wonderful each Pokemon and each person can do something special. Me, I know how to make Pokemon healthy. Ah, thank you so much, Shaji Jaco. Let's go up here for more trainers. A cool trainer. Celestial Tower means a perfect tower. Oh, never mind, let's have a Pokemon battle. Let's have Pokemon Battle instead. Face off against a cool trainer. Ace Trainer Beckett. And he has a Stoutland. I'm wondering what is a Stoutland? Does it look like something like a Herdier? Yeah. Stoutland is the final evolution of Lillipop, which goes to Herdier, which becomes Stoutland. Stoutland with a takedown. I hurt a lot. Well, then damage recoil, and now revenge gets double damage. The start line is resistance, but it takes a lot of damage. Let's do it with a razor shell. No takedown from start line. That's a KO on do on do what? The start line is dangerously near a KO. Bring in Seb Striker. Let's go with the spark. Or gets the first strike because of speed. That's enough. Stoutland goes down. 
lot of XP for, for Substracker and Vanillite, level 32 Vanillite, that's pretty good. Beat Ace Trainer Beckett. You're really perfect! Mm, I wouldn't say so, but I'll do as well as I can. Get a revive, which is very good, because do what will need to be revived after the beating he took from Stalthand. So let's get up our revive and use it on to do what. There we go. I think his remaining health is fine. We can go and heal from the uh, nurse, but I think I'm just gonna go on. Another ace trainer. Pokemon that grew up in Inova and Pokemon that grew up elsewhere both rest here quietly. Oh, that's sad. But then again, there's the afterlife. Face off against ace trainer Cassandra. Cassandra with Zubat. And we will go do what, of course? So, Cassandra Zubat will be our opponent. Let's go with Razor Shell. We go with Amnesia, which will increase its special defense by two levels. Razor Shell, which is a physical attack, does not care about Amnesia. And now, Zubat's defense went down by one level. Let's go to the Razor Shell. What would attract? Oh, do what fall in love because he's a male and Zubat is a female. Do but No, do what says I'm not going to be fallen tricked by that attract. I'll strike you down instead. And do what takes out the Zubat. Next up is Gotharitha. That's a new Pokemon. Let's stick with Scraggy for this one. So, well, we are not going to Pokemon seen before. This is Gotharita. This is Gothita's evolutional form. Gotharita. Still a psychic type Pokemon. I'll stick with Payback here because I think I'm slower. Yeah, faint attack. But barely in damage because Strike is super resistant to dark attacks. So, Payback is a bitch, as they say. Gotharita's gonna feel that. It's a. Oh, almost a 1 KO. Two headbutts. Yeah, this will happen. Go through there with a flatter. Which means Scraggy's special attack will go up, but now it's gonna be confused. And it's going to headbutt instead. No, it didn't KO, it's still alive! Let's try again. Pain attack if I got the Rita onto Scraggy. Barely does any damage, and Scraggy snaps out. And headbutts Gotharita down. Take its old XP, level 27. Well done. Okay, now let's learn Chip Away. And a new fighting type move, let's see what it does. Normal type move, actually. Each strike continues its target stats, then don't affect its tax damage. Okay, so it always does 70 power, regardless if you have increased your attack or reduced your attack. Do we need it though? Headbutt. Mm, let's actually get rid of headbutt. I we can flinch, but it's nice to have something that you always can depend on in power. Let's learn chip away. We beat a trainer, Cassandra. Your Pokemon are full of life. Ah, thank you. Speaking of life, let's go down to the nurse again, because I feel like my Pokemon's taking a bit of a beating. Heal, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go up again. But before we have that, we have a train Pokemon to fight. Another Litwick. Yeah, most of these Pokemon here are Litwick, but there are other Pokemon that can be fought, but they're a bit more uncommon, should we say. Let's just run away from this one and move up to the other floor where it came from. Now let's go up here. There's an item here. I have to go around it, okay. And while Pokemon appears, it's going to be a little tweak. That's fine. Let's just go away from this battle. Get ourselves TM65 Shadow Claw. Nice. Shadow Claw, which is a ghost-type physical move, which can be very useful to have on a Pokemon if you want to give him some ghost powers. And they're also physically strong. If not, well, save it for a good day, I guess. Remember that TMs in this game is not depleted as you use it. It's, it's wearing off 
permanently. Man, these Litwicks. I should have used a repel, but that's fine. No Litwick appears, but eh, not really interested. Sorry, Litwick. Not really interested in fighting you this time. Away from this battle. Let's go up the stairs. And we are at the top. Here's Skila. Oh, you came! Thank you! I was right. What I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry though, it's fine now. I gave it a max revive that it felt better than flew away. <laughs> Don't I have great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eye can see them. Oh, that's right. Since you come this far, why don't you ring the bell? It says the tower's bell is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of this person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. Um, okay, let's do that. So that's the tower bell. Will you ring the bell? Yes. It's time to ring the bell. The sound of the bell reverberates through the area. What a pretty sound! Titana, you're a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skila, the leader of Miss Charlton's Pokemon Gym. I use flying type Pokemon. When you're ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. So now we know what to do. We are going to go backtrack all the way down, which I will be using a repel for. So now we know at least what we're going to do next. We are going to fight this trainer. Let's see, where is the super pal? There we go. Let's go down here. Walk all the way down. All the way back to the floor again. The oldest trainers we already fought. So, flying type Pokemon. Remember that some of these Pokemon she might have is dual types, so you need to be a bit prepared for what you're wanting to fight. Myself, I'm not really that worried, but you know, you never really know what you can fight, so it's a good thing to be ready. Can't go across here. Hmm. Should have to find another trainer then, or maybe I can skip him. Yeah, I'll skip him. Oh, repel wore off again. Damn it. Repel. Please. No, I don't want to cross. Okay, then I guess I have to fight this trainer here. No, never mind. I can skip him. That's nice. Not really worrying about not fighting trainers, though. It's just that I have to worry about the time as well, you know. So back at Route 7. Let's head back to the town we came from. Let's go up here and... Whoa, balance it out! Whoa, 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 don't run here or you'll fall down to deep grass. Work around like this, and we are back in Mitchelton Town. Okay, Mitchelton City. Anyways, this episode is over. We have gone to the top of the Celestial Tower. We found Skila, and now she's back at the gym, and we're going to challenge her gym in the next episode and see what we can get through the Mitchelton City Gym. So... If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you got feedback or want to talk about this game or other Pokemon games, leave a comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get some content updates. That's going to be it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon White continues.